safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Holy shit. Was so Alfred Hitchcock surreal. famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm His in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. <sighs> now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I... If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark... Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. 
and Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, <laughs> you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely I can't believe I still have this zone. pencil case. The I should American upgrade to the 21st century. Was done by but Cornelius. I like it old school. You can find out all about My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. Far, I'm still so waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. You know Victoria is in it to win it, as usual. <sighs> Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I, I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Oh, Mr. Jefferson, I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important... That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was... Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. I only want to share whatever gifts I have. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? So cool that we can check these out anytime. The decisive moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson. That's rare. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. 
You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a hundred. You always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture during class. I feel like What's you have to What's the point of even coming Max to class wants everybody to see how like hip she is. What's the point? She plays it so <laughs> sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Can't she just deposit the $600? She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. To all of you American girls it's sad to These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere American girls I'd like to be part of the world around you driving a car by the seaside These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I wish October would last forever. It looks like she's been gone for months. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. 
I wonder what actually happened to her. Good thing I left my AK at home. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro, but he's actually not an ass. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Rachel Amber, she's so pretty. I hate these posters, so sad. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. There's the lighthouse again. Yay, Halloween, my favorite time of year. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Now who would bother to write that crap? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. I'm good to flow, thanks. This poster must drive people to have sex. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Just relax, stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens, or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day.
It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. He likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Can I actually reverse time? Anybody? I did now, it. Can you give I me actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time condition machine. in black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. There you when go. When I took Victoria. my selfie, Jefferson Why asked me a question. Because of her images of if he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's photo real. Portrait has been popular I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after Alice class. A French painter and I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Uh, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. Invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everybody. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. Far I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. You know Victoria is in it to win it. Max, you are not crazy. 
You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Nice answer, Max. You your are you okay? You look pale. Kate, uh, photos, so did we talk at all today? Know, Mr. This is the first time. So What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. To Too much stress. I know the feeling. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. No matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max? Don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. This photographic world is not for everybody. I had- Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. When can you? Don't even tease me. You know I don't tease. I hate that science Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick! I need a hammer to break it open! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. You wait for me. I don't smell any smoke. Oh shit, I left my phone Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my 
future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Matson, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high-security penitentiary. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, Will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse, Rachel Amber. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. 
Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute, Muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good. Good. Best portrait ever. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I'm not sure yet. I mean, he's clearly a genius, but I don't agree with everything he says. He does get a bit pretentious, but he's passionate and just says what he thinks. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. No way. You can get him so busted. And he's not going to mess around with a student. That's what you think. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of click. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Hey, Hayden. There she is, the retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? Seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us, too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy, like, you know. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. What do you think happened to her? Um... Uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. I'm more confused than before. It's such a mystery. Let's talk later, Hayden. That it is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. 
We should get you and Dana out one night. Oh, that's not nice. Poor little otter. Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Uh, uh, you read too. I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? That looks like a high-fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish.
Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Oh, yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh... Jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? I came to nose slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, ah, oh. Ooh. There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. Clever. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him. I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today, and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well... They both were famous war photographer images, but you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Isn't it Robert Dorneau? Oh, my. You can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing.
Come on, Logan, bring it, brah. Yeah. Ugh. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Ow! No! Oh. Hi, Max. No. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Ugh! Don't take it out on the tree, loser. Bruh! Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm Sweet. kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Yeah. Howdy, Samuel. Well... Hello there. Awesome. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Only she would know that, right? Uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. Nice, bro. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery, positive and negative. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just Not stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward, nice. like a clock. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. You'd think with all the rain here in Oregon, you wouldn't need to water the lawn. I guess Blackwell has to keep the lawn and plants well manicured to look good on a catalog. No. Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Awesome. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> oh, dude. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Yeah. Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way.
What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Okay. Nice, bro. Nice, bro. Keep walking, hippie. Okay, let's see if this works. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. No way! No fucking way! You okay, way. Victoria? Oh, Sammy, oh, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an oh, awesome cashmere coat. Dude. It was. But there'll be another. Nice, bro. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. Yeah. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and, and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Yeah. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Go, Miss Grant. Victoria, Not sure if I will, though. So I'm a loser. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Welcome to Black Hill. As if. 
I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Man, people here are merciless. Juliet, extreme reporter. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. Thanks for the warning. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. At least that's an alarm from this century. They live. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I... I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too- <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great, now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. 
Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this site. Lauren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birth. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Let me out, Juliet. This is so stupid. Answer, you wuss. <clears throat> hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? If you don't let uh, out, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk, just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some... Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Those boots are made for walking runways. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. 
Speaking of selfies... Oh! Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. This is both sad and pathetic. It would be a cool sticker without the words. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. I was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway... You better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. this shit damn i better rewind Alyssa, move your head if you insist max now that's what i'm talking about i actually helped somebody max that was awesome thank you no problem you have quick reflexes years of mad dodging skills bullies never change that's why you're better off. You're smart. We should hang out more. 
Now I have to finish this stupid book. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey. Why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe if... I should rewind and mind my own business? Warren told me that totem is named Tobanga for a reason nobody knows. I'm glad I stepped in that time. 
Can't stand to see people being bull. Good thing I don't have a car. Yet. Who toilet papers a bike? The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. Damn, somebody is seriously devoted to putting up these posters. Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, Cujo. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay lots. A new surveillance system. That's how it starts. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. It. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zack yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, et cetera, et cetera. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw? Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. 
I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch! I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey, leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore leave in the you. bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody messes with me! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. Feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max.
broken. Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage, and he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. It won't play without any power. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. I think this junk swallowed her discs. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Chloe's trash overfloweth. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow. Thanks. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. <gasps> Dude, you... What? Glass snow dough. Thanks. We had such a blast drawing these together. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height.
Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. I see why. I bet your mom was not too happy. She was happy enough to marry a Nazi. Reason number 356 to escape. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolfe, but here I am. Whoa, dark. I cannot see anything. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy, of me. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. Nothing's changed, except for me and Chloe.
These books have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. Dog tags, sweet. David Matson. Act, react, or die, a 21st century survival guide. Oh my, Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day year. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Joyce still works at the diner, and Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The prices are late on their bills. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. Aww. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. <sighs> I'd love to go to Paris too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Looks like a ship wreck now. I guess they're aging, these books. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me.
Yes, score. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. The tools might be in this cupboard. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Poor little dear. It's not enough to kill you, they have to display your head. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Brr, I can feel Autumn pushing up. We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. Oh, I loved this swing. William made it just for me and Chloe. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered. Told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. 
I love that they have the same old answering machine. And there's a message. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh... No way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Absolutely. Nathan Prescott had a fucking gun on you. Gutless prick. That was scary. Who did you tell? The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Chloe, are you up there? Yo, turn it off, turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up, we need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. What I'm coming! What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing! Give me a minute! Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second! My bra is stuck. 
I'm not screwing around, soldier. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't like strangers in my home, especially dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Because you're such a badass, Max, let me show you my new toy. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, put that thing down. Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You trust Nathan or David? Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke! Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Hello, cute little squirrel. You and me. Stare contest. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Chloe's step douche better not cause me trouble. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. I don't remember this at all, but it seems like it's been here for a long time. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind.
Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. How long has that been here? You sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. My pleasure. Feels nice out here after all that drama. You really took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? I wish. You know I would have read them. I'd love to. They must be important or he wouldn't hide them deep in his garage bunker. He kind of creeps me out. I bet the truth is out there in his files. Most likely, but it's good you didn't find his files. He would go ballistic. He's a total surveillance fetish. I worry there's spy cams in the house. I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it! He is so hella fucking paranoid! I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Oh no! Not again! Why is this happening to me? Why am I here again?
Is Chloe still up there? I have to find out. I've never seen a storm like this in Oregon. Oh my lord! The tornado is back! Is this for real? Whoa! Shit! October 11th? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Oh no. That tornado is headed straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real, it's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. <gasps> what the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. The waves lay light in the sand.